สวัสดีค่ะโอเค Welcome to TSL class again and same thing today we still keep talking about 10 useful phrases and today I would like to share about the 10 useful phrases about how to get a taxi sometimes right if you hear taxi in Thailand maybe it's gonna make you a little bit like worry or like kind of scary I'm gonna got scam or not something like that okay so Let's start the 10 useful phrases for a taxi and I hope this is gonna make you enjoy with a taxi in Thailand make you feel more a little bit confident to talk with them and then yeah one thing I gonna say like taxi they can speak English really good I can say that because like like in Bangkok right because taxi they meet with the tourists a lot that's why I feel like taxi can speak English really well Okay, let's start from the first one. The first one, to take a taxi. I would like to take a taxi. How can I say that? Ka. The first phrase, I would like to take a taxi. I would like to take a taxi. Chan or Pom Ya Nang Taxi. Chan Pom Ya Nang. Taxi. Okay. Chan ya nam taxi. Chan is mean I. Pom. I for lady. Pom. I for a man. Ya ya is one two. Nam. The word nam itself is mean to sit like to sit down. But nam also mean like to sit at a passenger. Of course, in taxi you are a passenger, right? That's why we gonna use the word nam. And taxi. This is the way Thai people pronounce. Can you repeat after me again? Taxi. Taxi is from the word taxi. Chan ya nang taxi. I would like to take a taxi. Okay. Ka. And next one. After you get into the taxi already, you need to tell them where you would like to go, right? Okay. The second phrase. I would like to go to and then you can follow by the name of the place or the address you want to go, right? Pom or Chan Ja Pai T blah 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 and Ka Ka or Club Chan Ja Pai T Example Sayam Square Ka Chan Ja Pai T Sayam Square Ka I would like to go to Sayam Square Please Or Ka Polite word Naha Or Can you remember the word P or No To get attention You also can use this word to call with the taxi driver Okay, E for me, right? I get into the taxi I gonna talk to the tra taxi driver P Ka Ja Pai Sayam Square Ka P Ka จะไปสยามสแควร์ Like this Okay And next one After you tell them where you would like to go, right? You need to ask them to turn on the meter This is the important thing Taxi meter Okay ค่ะ Number 3 You want to request for a meter Turn on the meter, please ช่วยเปิดมิเตอร์ด้วยค่ะช่วยเปิดมิเตอร์ด้วยค่ะช่วย is mean help or when you request they doing something for you นะคะเปิดเปิด the word เปิด is mean to turn on and also mean open as well เปิด turn on and open this case to turn on meter yeah meter is meter taxi meter the word do I do I do I is mean also by itself and if the word do I after the request word do I is mean like to request do the thing you supposed to do because taxi is supposed to turn on meter right that's why we can use the word do I to emphasize that you need to do this as well ka and crap ช่วยเปิดมิเตอร์ด้วยค่ะพี่พี่ 
like hey bro bro or it can be like you right ช่วยเปิดมิเตอร์ด้วยค่ะ okay this is the first I mean can be like second or third conversation that you can talk with the taxi driver ค่ะ number four the fifth grade this I'm sure the taxi gonna try to offer you the fifth grade because yeah more money right Okay, the thick red in Thai is Raka Mao. Raka Mao. Raka itself is mean price. The word Mao in this case is for like a, for the market. Mao is mean like the whole thing, like the whole cell can be like that. Raka Mao for taxi is mean a thick red. Probably they can they gonna say like Oh, Raka Mao, Raka Mao. This one they want you to pay, yeah, for the packet or the high price. So you you and him gonna like gonna talk or the negotiate price together. It's not follow the meter, nakha. Right? But if you not you cannot um accept or you don't feel like it's not fair because if you are a tourist here, right? Uh, yeah, it's so difficult to to deal or ne negotiate the price with them. That's why I'm gonna tell you the way to say sorry or refuse to them in a polite way. And I'm sure they're gonna understand and accept what you say. Ha. Number five, this is the way you're gonna use when you want to refuse or you want to say no to them. This is the most polite way, right? Huh? It's my pen right ha. or club. My เป็นไรค่ะครับไม่เป็นไร is really useful in Thai you can use like most every situation when someone give you a when someone ask you for help and say thank you to you you gonna hear this word ไม่เป็นไร and we also use for refuse นะคะ example the taxi say oh I cannot use a meter or the fixed rate and then you can say ไม่เป็นไรค่ะ and they understand you not accept this offer that, the, that is the polite way okay and next one when you already like negotiate the price you satisfy okay they're gonna use meter or something like that the easy way to tell the direction right yeah I know tell the direction is so complicated but if you have GPS or you have the address, you can give it to them and tell them, okay, can you follow this address? Can you go this place? What I show you? Okay, ha, huh? ha. Huh. Number six, the easy way to tell the right, the direction. Right now, everyone have telephone, right? You just show them the name, show them the map from the GPS, or if you have like a name card from the hotel, you can give it to them and then tell them. Follow this map or address, please. Okay, in Thai, ไปตามแผนที่ or ที่อยู่นี้ค่ะออกครับไปตามแผนที่ or ที่อยู่นี้ค่ะออกครับไปตามแผนที่ or ที่อยู่นี้ค่ะ The word by is mean to go. Tam is follow. Pan T is one word. Pan T is mean a map. T U T U is mean address. Ni is mean this. Pan T ni this map. T U ni this address. Ka or crap to make it polite. Okay. Ka and give it to them. Naha. Hope it's gonna be easy for you. Okay, next one. Ka number seven. How long will it take? When you want to know how long is that place, so you need to plan for your trip. In Thai is ใช้เวลานานเท่าไหร่ใช้เวลานานเท่าไหร่ค่ะออกครับ Okay, so ใช้ใช้ is mean to use. Weilah, weilah is one word. Weilah is mean time. Nan, nan is mean long time. Long, we use it only for time. And how long? How long? How long is mean how much? Use weilah nan how long? Use weilah together. Use weilah is mean 
spend time or take time นานเท่าไหร่ how long นานเท่าไหร่ how long it take how long will it take right ใช้เวลานานเท่าไหร่ค่ะ and next one probably you want to stop on the way maybe you want to stop at 7 eleven that's you know in Thai we have 7 eleven everywhere right that's why maybe you want to stop to get some snack this is the good one Card number eight in case you want to stop over at some place you can use this phrase to ask them where tea and then you can follow by the place you want to stop ได้ไหมคะแวะที่ blah 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 ได้ไหมคะโอเค the word แวะ is mean to stop over ที่ is mean at ได้ไหมได้ไหม is mean like can you ได้ไหม and คะ this polite particle or ครับแวะที่ seven eleven ได้ไหมคะ Can you stop over at 7-Eleven, please? Okay. Card number nine. When you already arrive your destination and you would like to tell them like, okay, park it here, please. Park it here, please. You can use this one, ค่ะจอดที่นี่จอดที่นี่จอด is mean to park to stop the car. ที่นี่ is mean here. จอดที่นี่ค่ะ Park it here, please. Okay. And okay, after they stop, it's time to pay. So you're gonna ask them how much is it? How much is the cost? Ka. Okay, this is the last phrase. How much is it? Okay, after you are arrived, your destination, and time to pay. How much or how much? How much? Or ki ba ka. How much is now is mean how much. And ki ba ki ba ki is how many. Ba in this case ba is Thai ba Thai currency. How much ka or ki ba ka. Okay, it's really good ka. And I hope you enjoy this lesson and you can practice or have more confidence when you get in the. Get in the taxi, take a taxi, and just try to practice Thai with a taxi. I'm sure they try to speak Thai with you as well. And I hope to see you next lesson. And thank you for today. สวัสดีค่ะ